Mahindra XUV500 Android Auto Mahindra and Mahindra launches Android Auto in its premium vehicle XUV500. Android Auto minimizes driver distraction by projecting necessary content of the Android phone onto the vehicle infotainment display. User can access and control mobile applications such as music, navigation, phone calls, and Google search. It enables user to stay focused on road with simple interfaces, integrated steering wheel control, and powerful speech recognition. This makes it safer and easier to interact with the phone while driving. Any Android mobile with OS version 5.0.1 or above shall be supported by Android Auto. For better performance, Google recommends to use Android OS version 6.0.1 or above. These phones are tested by Mahindra for Android Auto compatibility. This list will be updated from time to time. User has to download and install Android Auto app from the Google Play Store. Now let me search for Android Auto app. It's already installed in this phone. If it's not installed, then you can download and install it. Now let's look at the settings that need to be configured in the infotainment system. Go to all settings, go to Android Auto. We have two options here, charge only mode and Android Auto mode. In the charge only mode, the phone will only be charged and Android Auto cannot be connected. So let us make sure we are selecting the Android Auto mode to use Android Auto. Now let me connect the mobile phone and the infotainment system via branded USB data cable. For the first time connection, both the phone and the infotainment system will display disclaimers. Click accept and continue in the mobile phone. Now the mobile content is displayed on the infotainment system and the phone cannot be used. It will be blocked by Android Auto. Being a first time user, Android Auto will display the show me how guide. The user can either proceed or skip. This is Android Auto's home screen. At the top of the screen, the user can view the network signal, the data connectivity, battery, time and the voice command option. And at the bottom of the screen, you can see some icons. So let's see one by one in detail. It's the navigation button. This is the same Google map that is available on the mobile. The entire mobile content is displayed here. As you see, there is the last search route. So let me dismiss that. To set a route, there are two options. One is manual search. So let me click here and choose a destination. So as you choose your destination, the search gives you suggestions. So let me click this. The route is calculated and the travel time is displayed. So once you click this, the navigation is Head started. East and continue straight for 900 meters. Let's check the menu here. And let me select categories. It displays various options such as gas stations, restaurants, etc. on the way to our destination. You can see the restaurants. Google Maps supports live traffic and voice guidance. To mute voice guidance, let me click here. And to unmute it, let me click it again. Let me explain how to set a destination using a voice command. Click the mic button. Take me to Nungambakam. Chennai, alright. Now the destination is set for Nangambakam. Head east and continue straight for 900 meters. Apart from Google navigation, we have an inbuilt native navigation. Setting a route in native navigation automatically cancels the route set in Android Auto navigation. Let me click this destination and navigate. Now let me click OK. This cancels the route set in Android Auto navigation. Now let me click the home button and let me select the Android Auto option. Setting a route in Android Auto will cancel the route set in native navigation. So native navigation and Android Auto navigation cannot be active at the same time. Now let's check the phone option. The contacts will be displayed on the screen. The contacts available in the mobile phone book will not be displayed as it is. The contacts will be categorized based on recent call logs such as received, missed or dialed and favorites. Let's check the phone menu. Here we have some options like dial a number, call history and missed calls. Using dial a number, you can enter a number manually and make an outgoing call. Now I'm ending the call. The call can also be triggered from the call history screen and the missed call screen. 
So let's see how to make a call. On selecting a contact, the call will be initiated. The mobile screen has options like the keypad, the mic mute, and the end call button. So let's initiate a call via the voice command. Let me click the mic button on the screen. Call Kaushik. Calling Kaushik. Now the call has been triggered. We can end the call via switch bank or the steering wheel. Now this is an incoming call. I can either accept the call via the touch screen or the switch bank. Now let me end the call via the switch bank. Now let's check the home button. This is the home screen. As you see it has shortcuts like navigation, music and call history. I just received a message. On clicking the pop-up, the message will be read by Google Voice. Here is the message. Hi, where are you? I am unable to reach your mobile. Call me back. Now let me reply. Reply send. What's the message? Hey, I'm driving right now. I will call you after some time. Bye. Here is your message. Hey, I am driving right now. I will call you after some time. Bye. Do you want to send it or cancel it? Send it. Message sent. Now on clicking the shortcut to navigation, it takes me to the navigation screen. Let me click this. Now let me dismiss this route. As you see, the active route shortcut has been taken off from the home screen. The last set routes are displayed here. Now let me scroll up. Now there is a play pause control on the music screen. Now let's check the music button. The Google Play Music has been launched with various options like play, pause, next, previous and list. Music can also be controlled via the switch bank and the steering control with options like next, previous, play and pause. The user can toggle between navigation, phone and music screen of Android Auto by pressing NAM, phone and music button in the switch bank. Now let's check the Google Play Music menu. Artist, album and folder browsing are not supported on Android Auto. Only playlist is supported. Now let's check the playlist. Since we don't have folder browsing, the user can use the last added option to listen to all the songs available on the mobile. Now let's check the customized playlist. On this playlist, the user will be able to listen to the songs he has created in the playlist. On clicking Q, all the songs available in the current playlist is displayed. Music can also be controlled using the voice command by clicking the mic button. Play Must Megan. Here you go, asking to play Mast Megan. On clicking the music button again, it displays some of the music apps supported by Android Auto. Now let us see how to view and install Android Auto supported apps. Now in the mobile, let me open Android Auto. Here in the menu, go to apps for Android Auto. Here you can see list of supported apps such as Messenger, Online Radio, Online and Offline Music, Audiobooks and Podcasts. Let me go back to Google Play Music. So let me click the last button. Here we have returned to Mahindra. It takes us back to the native home piano screen. Only Android Auto projection will be closed, but Android Auto music will continue to play. Now let me disconnect Android Auto and connect it again. On subsequent connections, Android Auto will not be automatically launched. Android Auto can be launched in three ways. The first option is go to home screen and select Android Auto. The second option is go to media screen and launch Android Auto. And the third option is an auto launch. On an incoming call, Android Auto will automatically be launched. Let me accept the call. When the call is active, the user cannot access the native buttons like radio, home, etc. However, the user can toggle between any screen inside the Android Auto, like phone, 
navigation, home, and music. Return to Mahindra cannot be accessed at this time due to an active call. Now let me end the call using the switch bank. Now let me disconnect Android Auto. Whenever Android Auto is connected, the Bluetooth of the Android phone and the infotainment system get paired and connected automatically. To confirm this, let me remove the already paired Android device from the list. On Android Auto Connection, the Bluetooth device will be paired and connected automatically. Let's check the same in Bluetooth setting. Here you can see Bluetooth connection is successful. While Android Auto is connected, the Bluetooth on, off and add devices are not supported. Only paired devices is supported. For the connected Android Auto phone, disconnect and remove device are not supported. For other phones, connect for music and remove device are supported. Now the music profile has been connected. Only five devices can be paired at a time. If the Android Auto phone is not in the paired list during connection, this pop-up will show up. Maximum number of devices paired. Remove one to continue. Pressing delete will remove a device that is not used recently. Let me click on delete. So deletion is success. And the Bluetooth will get paired and connected automatically in the background. So let's check the same in Bluetooth settings. Google Navigation Voice Guidance can be played in the radio screen as well. The Navigation Prompt Volume Level can be adjusted using the volume knob between the minimum and maximum limits. Google's voice recognition can be initiated by long pressing the voice button and short pressing the same button will cancel the voice recognition. Let me initiate again. What's the weather in Chennai? It's currently 28 degrees and partly cloudy in Chennai. Today it will be partly cloudy and high of 28 degrees and low of 22 degrees. When is India's next cricket match? India is playing England on Sunday 1.30 p.m. This feature enables the user to ask anything to Google. When Android Auto is connected, the user cannot access Android Auto settings. That is, charge only mode and Android Auto mode selection. When Android Auto is disconnected, the user can access these settings. The user can choose the charge only mode if he doesn't wish to use Android Auto. Thanks for watching this video.